bacon wrapped avocado that is what my body was craving this morning so that is what we are having for breakfast good morning guys it is thursday morning happy friday eve although by the time you guys see this it's probably going to be sunday anyhow um so i did my bacon wrapped avocado for breakfast this morning the kid had an absolute fit over it she just does not like avocado so weird um long weekend coming up i am going to be driving out to new york this weekend to visit with family so i'm actually going to weigh in tomorrow morning friday morning to get my weigh-in done for this week so that i can have it posted for you this weekend because i don't think i'm gonna have any time to do it this weekend so this is going to be probably a very short video because it'll just be today and tomorrow and then I'll have to edit it and try to get it uploaded before the weekend. Hey guys, so it is Thursday evening. I am making dinner before baby girl gets home. I'm currently browning some ground beef with my homemade taco seasoning mix. Um, I will list the recipe for this down below. If you're unaware, um, I looked at the McCormick taco seasoning mix and it's got maltodextrin in it so that's a hidden sugar so I decided to try to find a recipe that didn't have any sugar whatsoever and then I knew what was in it so I mean it's basically uh, paprika salt cumin chili garlic and onion powders I'll list the link for the ratios for the recipe down below so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna do taco meat over steamed broccoli I'm just gonna boil up some water and throw that in just until it gets dark green and then that'll be good to go broccoli is one thing i do know that the kid likes so that will be a good dinner that with some cheese and some sour cream and for me some guacamole so that's where we're at tomorrow that <laughs> the tomorrow what is tomorrow that's where we're at tonight and we will check in with y'all tomorrow for another way in all right so dinner is served i got a taco broccoli bowl with some guacamole and sour cream just broccoli taco meat cheese sour cream and guacamole yum all right guys so it is friday morning i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do my way in and then we'll finish out the day with some thoughts 316.6 so it looks like another pound and a half Woohoo! all right guys so it is friday afternoon i am done with work for the day i'm currently heading to walmart to pick up some required food items to take with me to my family's this weekend um what was i going to talk about oh Okay, so as far as pound and a half weight loss in the last six days, um, I feel pretty good about that. Um, I would have liked it to have been two pounds as a minimum, but there's a world of excuses I'm not going to bring a whole lot of them up but the main thing is I did not work out at all this week I didn't go to the gym I had a lot of different things going on and so I'm actually really happy with a pound and a half weight loss with just the diet in particular without any exercise to go along with it so I can't really be too disappointed in that um, the child I have not weighed yet so I'll put her hopeful weight loss in the description down below because um, I have not weighed her yet so I will wait until tomorrow morning right before we're getting ready to go when I'm getting this posted to put hers down there um, still fighting me on the food she ate up the broccoli last night so tonight we're gonna do almost the same thing but instead of using the taco meat which she's really not a big fan of I'm going to do bacon because she likes bacon so I'm going to do actually asparagus cooked up in butter with cheese and bacon so that's what we'll be doing tonight um, 
she has not been eating her breakfast that I make for her. She's not eating the eggs and bacon. She's not doing the shakes, which has definitely been affecting her energy levels. I did get a email from her teacher that she fell asleep in class a couple of times this week. So we'll be discussing that when she gets home. And as far as like her need to actually eat in the morning so that she has energy to get through her school day. She's been sleeping fine. She's been sleeping all the way through the night, no snoring, but her energy has definitely been suffering because of her partial hunger strike that she's been pulling on me with this whole thing. So still on the hunt for items that a child will eat without throwing a fit about. So she's decided she doesn't like beef, she doesn't like chicken, she doesn't like avocados, she doesn't like eggs. Uh, honestly, she'd be happy if she could just eat cereal and pancakes and subsist off of that, which is not going to happen. So I need to find things in the diet that she will eat because she has pretty much come to the conclusion that she doesn't like anything in the diet, she doesn't like any part of it, and she is not going to participate. So that is where I'm going to leave this. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you have any suggestions for me, they would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe and you can see how our progress goes. With that, I bid you adieu and we will see you for week four.